Uh, speaking with Carol Kane, Nicholas Cage, and Miles Davis. You just, you spotted Don't something. I'm not going to drive it. I got it right here. Sean was on this. What do you make of it? We're on now. Yeah. Yep, we can do anything we want. <laughs> Hello. Say anything we want. And have a splendid time. I've never seen anything quite like it today. There was a pilgrimage to the studio. Uh, Paul Schaefer, I don't know, you, you name the person. I saw people come up to say hello to the master. Does that happen wherever you go? Yeah, sometimes they embarrass you. They embarrass you? Yeah. You don't like being an idol. I walk in a place, and the, well, the, the drummers drop sticks when I walk in. Do they mean to? I mean, to? if somebody tells them Miles to be down here tonight, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be nervous. If I were Should playing like clarinet somewhere and I knew you were coming in, <laughs> I would be more than, Should more be than. nervous if you know what you're going to do, you know. Yeah. If, if you know you can play. What would it take, seriously, for a musician to be good enough to play in the Miles Davis band? Suppose you need a new, a new guy. The first thing he has to do is, whoever it is, has to have good carriage. Meaning? And meaning that they have to look like what they're going to play. They have to. Not look like they just bought it. No, I mean, not like this. But. Good carriage. <laughs> how, how, how am I going to know if he's putting me on? <laughs> no. Putting on. no. Tenor players have a certain way they stand. Yeah. Bob stands like this. Take charge, of the guy, like Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a lot of well, macho in that stance. Drop it, you have to. None. Yeah. Strong. You can tell by the way the guy holds it before he even puts it to his mouth whether he's a musician, a real musician. Whether you can play. Yeah. Somebody said about you years ago that you were, whereas everybody was emulating Dizzy Gillespie, every young trumpet player, that you, at the beginning, had the courage to be original. They said, Miles played sideways. Does that mean anything to you? They mean that, that when I play, okay, if I go to a B-flat chord, mm -hmm. I probably would play a chord going to be flat. And this would be considered unorthodox. Well, it'd be, it's the sound yeah. that takes you to another sound. And there's no bad notes until the note after the bad note. See, I told you it was going to fall. I dropped my trumpet. Drop his trumpet. When your sentence ended, a trumpet <laughs> fell over. It's like you can't play it anymore. Th this man has power. I see, he couldn't play trumpet. <laughs> I, I just got it. I just got it. I was hoping you'd show me how to hold it. I just... Th th because you don't respect the instrument. Well, I do respect it. It's a friend. It's on here like that. Well, see, no, I mean, I got it because I was, you know, I wanted a friend, and I thought... See the third thing? What? It's not going to happen? He's got the first thing on the second veil. Well, this is how the guy at the, 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 uh -huh. the shop told me to hold it like this here, you see? Well, he's an innovator like yourself. <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd... I, right, I was hoping you'd show me. Uh -huh. Could you sh I mean, what, is it just like... See, I couldn't even... I, I'm not going to try and blow through this. I just... First, man, you got to do this. What? First, i got to see this, too. Gotta, what? Wrap it around here? It's like that? what I'm doing. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, right here. Wait, I got this through here. There we go. Get it like no. that. Oh, this way. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What, uh, well, how am I? I'm not doing too good with this. You left me to take out the mouthpiece. Uh, yeah. That's the mouthpiece is a little end. <laughs> <coughs> well, wait a minute. The valves probably aren't adjusted. Here we go. We'll see. It's just, it's not going to work. Yeah. You, know? you realize what I'm this not lesson. Show you, you mess up <laughs> well, don't, don't you think it looks good, though, with the suit? I mean, the trumpet in the suit? The first time I... Uh, well, I'm from St. Louis, right? So. You're from St. Louis, I figured out. Well, black people didn't have no instruments or no band in East St. Louis. Yeah. So they had three trumpets, and they came out uh, grade school and let us each hold a note once a week on Wednesday. 
Winston. But my instructor used to play with Andy Kirk, right? Yeah. So he would, I loved that, just the way he was doing. Always just the style, of the, the line of the instrument. No, the way you hold it, like, check out my knee. Yeah. <laughs> But not like this. Marvelous. Yeah. But I love the way he held the drum, sir. I but started there's, playing it. But there's more to it than that. I mean, surely somebody could learn how to handle a trumpet and still not be you or handle a sax after and we, not be Parker. After, we, after the Board of Education gave us all the instruments, yeah. I still wanted to play trumpet, so I bought one. My father bought me one. Now, you know what I was assumed about you, Mr. Davis, is that you hey, man, I'm gonna take off my struggled. Oh, this would you? Plus for you. A <laughs> big plus. This is an honor. Lord, that's going to cost us extra. Uh, I know your teacher said to you to play light and fast and not to play uh, wh whatever the opposite of that would be, that everybody was playing. No, leave out the vibrato because you'll get old someday and shake anyway. Was that, wasn't that the quote? <laughs> Can you show... A tone without vibrato and with vibrato for, uh, and what the difference is? With vibrato as well. Slight waver. Yeah. And without? <laughs> it's a world of difference. I, uh, <laughs> I can see the I can see the the point. What it does when you play without a vibrato, you can cut the notes off quicker, mm -hmm. and the, the notes will be on the beat instead of the vibrato being over all the beat. What about the fact that you have changed so many times over the years and still remain you and still remain uh, a, a legend and popular and and all? Is that and I, because you want to top yourself, or do you just get bored with what you're doing and have to move on? For instance, uh, I don't try to change m music, you know. Mm -hmm. It just happens. It moves and you follow? And the musicians I ha that I get, they change the music. Like a combination, like I had uh, Herbie Hancock, mm -hmm. Wayne Shorter, and... Uh, Tony Williams yeah. and Bill Evans. It changed because at this particular time, this was in the when we made Kind of Blue and uh, So What. It was modern music. The reason was like that because I went to see, am I, you got enough time? We, we never have enough time. We have probably two more minutes, but go on. Well, anyway, I went to see the African Ballet. Yeah. And I saw the finger piano. He saw it once, one side of the stage, and when he, and he was singing, and when he got to the other side, it was over. That little rumbling sound that the finger piano that comes from Africa, I wanted to play something like that. You know? And yeah. Bill Evans had been telling me, listen to Ravel and this, you know, the, the mood kind of thing and it prevails then too. And Rachmaninoff so, you listen to too. Yeah, but not, the kind of blue, the concept was like that African, African ballet, but it didn't come out that way, yeah. you know. When you have, a, when somebody gives you a concept, sometimes it, it isn't like what you wanted to do and it comes out another way. So. Kind of blue came so out. you can be surprised by what you do. Right. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it like they did. Am I in any danger by asking you a question about race? Um, are you still harassed when you drive an expensive sports car and the police uh, stop you and say, uh, whose car you got there? Does that still happen? Yeah. I have a yellow, I have a yellow Ferrari. And he stopped. So I told him, I said, uh, why do you want me to tell you 
where I got the money from to buy this car and how much it cost. I mean, anyway, I had my lawyer sue one guy because the latest album we had, the 212, I was on my way to, to record and he stopped me. And I said, what do you want? Policeman stopped you. Right, yeah. on our freeway. And it was in my face, you know. Like, <laughs> so I had my lawyer. He said, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could tell if I said anything else, it wasn't, he didn't hear it. Yeah. You know, all he wanted to do was just. Then I told him, I said, well, why don't you have a California license? I said, then I'll have two licenses. Where should I get two licenses? Well, if you don't answer this, someone, we're going to come and get you. Yeah. But it happens like once a week. Once a week? Isn't that annoying, the idea that you're delivering the car somewhere or that you stole it? Which is the assumption they most likely make? Well, they can see the way I dress it. I wouldn't steal anything. No. Uh, I mean, well, unless you rolled Liberace or... Oh, forgive me, forgive me. I did not say that. I didn't say that. I have something for you, Miles. I hope you're going to like it. I knew that a man who has everything, you don't know what to get for him. It's a license plate. No, it's a license plate, and I hope, I hope you like it. Can you, uh, can you see this? Would you like to have this? <laughs> I must, uh, I admire so many things about you. In fact, that you're probably one of three people in the world who cold turkeyed heroin, which is only apparently done in the movies. And, uh, and the fact that you're an artist comparable to Picasso and on a level with people in all the best fields, Brando in acting. And it's a real treat to have you here. Oh? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and when we come back, you might even play some more. Good. We'll be back. <laughs>